Previously, in the anime, when the French and English were at war, Morenci had a peaceful time with his friends, but soon one of his friends, Rishma, had to join the war and as a result, Morenci lost Rishma, so he immersed himself into making an elixir to obtain immortality through Philosopher's Stone and lost his sense of time, but due to an accident, his saliva became elixir. So he had to give the Philosopher's Stone to Jean, but seeing the power Jean gained, many began to think she's a devil, so Morenci tried to clear her name by making Jean a saint. For that he goes to Charlotte because she had become the queen, but midway, henchman of Prime Minister kidnaps Morenci and threw him in a cell where he met Rishma again. She didn't die on that day but now she hates Morenci that he never sought her for seven years, same goes for Charlotte, she hates Morenci for the same reason. But someone attacked Charlotte in her chambers and the attacker wanted to get the Philosopher's Stone, and the one who was behind Morenci's kidnapping and framing Rishma, was Morenci's stepbrother Lotriamel. he wants to get rid of French royalty to make peace with England to save whatever land they have and obtain a title under them, and to negotiate with England. Philip and her household will be the mediator, Morenci thought Charlotte wouldn't surrender herself to England, but he's wrong, Rishma told him when he was in his lab. The girl saw so much bloodshed that broke her apart, and at the same time, the attacker was beating up Jean to know how to get the elixir, and sadly, she told him that Morenci's saliva is the elixir, seeing the blood is how she has spent this seven years, which is why she gave full power to La Triamol and didn't do anything when he framed Risham. But Morenci didn't give up on hope, he still wants to believe in his friends and their oath of being friends forever, and that's when Latyra made her grand entrance with her mercenaries to save them. But taking this chance, Latriamol ran off. But on the other side, Jean was on the verge of death, and finally Charlotte called out for help and others barged in to save them, so the attacker took Jean as a hostage as his goal is the stone. Morenci agreed to give him the stone, but he knew it needed to be dipped in elixir where the power of stone would kill him, so Morenci had no other option. He dipped the stone in his saliva and gave it to him, so the attacker got happy that he'll become a new Ulysses, but Morenci tricked him, because his saliva is elixir. An elixir vaporizes the moment it comes into air, so what he swallowed was the stone without elixir, thanks to that smart move that attacker died. And Charlotte and Jean were able to make sisterly bonds through this tough time, and there Philip arrived, so he goes out to talk with her. Morenci told her that surrendering to England would only bring more chaos as it opens more doors for the successors to the French throne, that is why, Morenci thinks that France should unite as one. If that happens the unity would end the war, but first the Duchy of Brugendy has to take the French side, saying that he leaves Philip to let her make a decision. But her father was killed by the French royals, and before leaving her father left his dream of making the House of Brugendy the most powerful house in Europe to Philip, then afterwards. Jean forced Morenci into a kiss to drink elixir again, so Charlotte thought of becoming Ulysses too, but Jean got protective because she doesn't want anyone to kiss Morenci. And Rishma was on their side, there was no need for a second Ulysses, and between their conversation Philip came in, and everyone thought Philip would take their side. And the friends would be reunited, but the assassin from earlier was from Brugendy, and he was carrying out her father's orders to get the stone to make their house the strongest in Europe and she chose to take her father's side and left, but Morenci couldn't accept it and went to meet her, but there Philip kissed Morenci and then, she left, but she kissed him only to get elixir. After that, Charlotte knighted Jean as a saint knight in the court to show she would defeat the English and bring peace to their land, but Lotriamol colluded with the church to declare Charlotte a heretic. Then the next day, the big problem arises on the French side, Charlotte made her will to defeat the English but they did not have enough troops for a large-scale war. For that Rishma was sent to her house of Brittany to request for troops, but she saw her brother was indulging in pleasure rather than thinking about the war, she made it clear she needs 2,000 troops, but he refused because he wants to stay neutral, disappointed from him, Rishma was sitting in a tavern for drink, but the Brocky batted something in her drink that made her lose consciousness, later. Turns out they were peoples who wanted to stay neutral because the land of Brittany is independent and whoever tried to drag them into war should be dealt with. But the girl who was with her brother, came in with troops and saved Rizma before they violates her. Rizma thought her brother is just a coward for sitting and doing nothing. So she told her that her brother cares for her, and on one of the nights, he told her that Bretfort from England proposed marriage with Rizma. But he refused because he wants his sister to marry a good guy to protect her, and then, Latriamol gets to them and shows them the request from the church, according to this. 
Jean has to take purity test or else she would be deemed a witch, this disgusting rumor has been spreaded in the town that Jean got her powers by sleeping with the devil. And even if Jean agreed to test, she would be violated the moment she goes for the test, and thankfully Jean didn't enter the church for the test of her own accord. This matter had gotten out of hand as lackeys of La Triamol spreads even more hatred in the crowd, and knowing this Jean agreed to take the test, freaking politics. It's even worse than an overpowered enemy, and Charlotte again begged to pursue his brother, but it was hopeless. So in anger Charlotte misspoke that this would have ended if Britney's would have taken their side, but the Britney is an independent nation, which pissed Charlotte off. And she reminds Rishma that her mother married the English king right after her father died, that broke the friendship of theirs. And Morency vowed to forsake the marriage to live in singularity with Jean, and seeing them this close, Rishma got even more broke and resigned. She saved her purity from that Henry's lackey because she wanted to give it to Morency, but now he's with Jean, so she left, and Altyra also resigned from her post, things are just getting worse. And Latriamol even gathered commoners to corner Morency and Charlotte, people refused to believe Morency's words and wants Jean to take the purity test, and fighting them would make it worse. So Morency's took the beating without resistance, which ticked Jean off, so she used Ulysses to beat them up to save Morency from them and announced she would take their disgusting test and falls unconscious, so Morency told them Jean refuses to kill anyone because she knows the pain of losing someone. Which is why Morency asked them if she looks like a demon to them, those words pursued the crowd and they backed off, and the next day, they decided their next move should be capturing Orleans completely, but at that time, Philip wore a helmet, which started to make her a completely different person. After that, Morency led the troop to take Orleans under the French army, or he meets Ellen, Rishma's younger brother, but the conflict started almost immediately, and Ellen joined the battle. But a new warrior kicked his butt in a single strike, and their Jean comes in to fight the new mysterious figure because her powers were really something, she calls herself, Black Ulysses. And throughout the fight, Jean almost beat her, but she blocked her last attack, and when Morency arrived she ran off, after that time, in Paris. Bertford who's trying to marry Rishma, had made some new plans because that black Ulysses was acting under his command, and as for capturing Orleans, Jean was regarded as a heroic saint, but the saint just loves to drink elixir. And Morency had started to develop feelings for her and ran off before she kisses him again, and at night Jean even requested to sleep together, which obviously made him uncomfortable. So Astroff told him to bring out the half stone and she showed a beautiful girl's figure, Astroff told Morency that if he obtains full power of the stone, this girl could be yours. But Morency refused because he thinks love isn't physical attraction, Astroff didn't like it and went off because no one has ever wielded full power of the stone and obtained that girl, afterwards. Peasants saw they will win for sure because they have saint like Jean, so they themselves started to attack English troops, but that's just a reckless move they made out of overconfidence. So they had no choice but to join them or else pro-soldiers would massacre the commoners, so first Ellen shows up and there the commander of that of the English troops also showed up. So when he aimed at the people, Jean jumps in to end the battle, but the black Ulysses got her midway of attack, it was their plan all along. And there he used his real arrow to kill Jean and Philip, Philip was the black Ulysses and she wants to die along with Jean, and that arrow commander shot. He removed it from them with their hearts, Ulysses could regenerate almost all parts of the body other than the head, but these arrows are special, they were designed to kill Ulysses. So the part it hits won't regenerate, which means Jean is dead, and Commander ordered to capture Jean's body to get Philosopher's Stone from her. And Morency was too shocked to even move seeing Jean die. So, what will happen next, find out in the next video, and if you haven't seen the first part of the video, I have added a playlist link in the description. So please watch the first part of the video to understand the storyline, until then take care.